What's up y'all, it's Kella and welcome back to Baby Kella Edits and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make this super easy wig installation thumbnail. The two apps that you do need is the Superpost X app which you have to pay for but it's only a one time payment and the app Funto which is free. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do is go straight into the Superimpose X app. Once you get there, you want to click the plus sign and you want to go to color. After that, you want to go down to the YouTube thumbnail size. And for the color background, it really doesn't matter. But once you click the thumbnail size, you just want to go ahead and click the check mark. After that, you want to click the plus sign where the layer is at and you want to add your three images that you have selected to be included into your thumbnail. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and arrange the images to your liking, whichever one that you want on the left, the right, and the one you have chosen to be in the middle. Also, make sure that you enlarge the pictures to fit the thumbnail as well. Once you have completed that, you want to go ahead and remove the background from the middle image that you have chosen. And normally when I remove the background in the Superimpose X app, I normally manually go and erase it myself. But since it's a good quality photo, it should like it erase it then, like remove the background completely. It should look like this, but see at the edges is still some of the background showing. So I'm going to go back manually and erase the white outline of that picture. Now I knew once I got towards the bottom where the background is still showing, I knew that was kind of going to be a challenge for me. So what I decided to do was go down to editor down at the bottom. You want to click brush and then you want to click retouch. Once you've done that, you want to click darken and you see how I'm darkening up those spots to make it seem like that's like actually hair strands. So I'm darkening it up to make it look like it was natural. So that way, you know, it looks, you know, clean and neat. Now, of course, I'm not going to leave the background where some of the blue is showing. So what you want to do is click one of her photos and you want to duplicate layer. So you'll have two of those. Once you do that, you want to move that layer to the top of each photo. You want to go down and click editor and you want to go down and click clone. And what you want to do is the brush is already picked. So uh, you want to move the circle to where the background is and then just start um, brushing and as you can see her photo is being removed and sometimes when I do this I like to click the second brush and I like to blend it a little bit more to make it you know seem like that this is just a picture with just the background because if you just leave it the way it is it might be noticeable that you know you did what you did <laughs> But um, yeah, like I said, this part optional. You don't have to blend it if you don't want to. You can leave it as it is. But once you have done that, you want to make a duplicate layer of that background and you want to move those to the bottom and you want to adjust those to where the blue is completely covered. Thank you. 
Now this next step is optional, but what I like to do is blend the layers. So I don't know if you can tell, but as I'm pointing right now, you can see where the actual picture is split it with the background pictures that we just did. So if you want to take this step, the only thing you have to do is click mask at the bottom and then you want to click settings and then you want to go to feather brush. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and, and make sure it's on erase as well too. So after that, you can just click on the picture of her and you can just start um, removing some of that background. And as you can see, it's blending with the background picture that we just did. Okay, so the last that we have is adding a color. So what you want to do is click the plus sign and click on color. Then you want to go to the YouTube thumbnail size or it really doesn't matter. Make sure that you turn that color black and you want to enlarge that to where it covers the whole picture. Once you have done that, you want to click on mask down below and you want to just make a mark, invert it, and then erase that mark that you just made. Once you have done that, you want to click on restore and you want to create like an oval shape down at the bottom. And after that, it doesn't have to be perfect, but after that, you want to click on blur slash shrink and you want to increase the first one. As you can see, you can tell the difference. Then on the second one, you want to do it just a little bit. Now I do have to go back because the background at the bottom is showing. I want the bottom to be completely dark, but at the top I wanted to have that gradient look. Once you have finished that, you can go right into the Fonto app and this is where we're going to be adding the title and the subtitles as well. So you can go ahead and click the camera down at the bottom that's in the center and you want to click photo albums and you want to choose the thumbnail that we just did in the Superimpose X app. So you want to tap anywhere on the screen to add your title and my title is going to be wig installation But you want to see me type in wig Instagram. I don't know why I did that lols But after that you want to click on symbol and you want to click the star. That's how you add the star y'all I don't know if y'all knew that or not. I know that's available for Apple devices But I don't know if that's available for Android devices and the font I am using is Druk wide bold. I don't know if I said that first word right but um, yeah, that's the font that I'm using. So after that, if you need to decrease the size, you can do that. And then you just want to um, drag it down to the bottom where the black gradient is. Um, I'm keeping the color white, but normally I would add a shadow. But since the black is down at the bottom, I wouldn't have to add a shadow. And the last step of completing this wig installation thumbnail is adding your subtitles. Now in the last um, thumbnail series episode, I did kind of explain what's the meaning of the subtitles, which is just really just telling your subscribers what is included into your video. So like I said, this is a wig installation video. So you might want to let them know that, hey, this is a beginner friendly. So anybody that never done a wig install, they trying to find a video. So they'll know whether, okay, this is the video that I need to tap on. And I need to check this out because, hey, I never done a wig installation before. So that is like the meeting of subtitles, y'all. Now there are two other subtitles that I am going to add. So what I'm going to do is just make a duplicate of that twice of the subtitle that I just did so that way I just won't have to keep tapping the screen and then type in and then I have to go into style and then I have to try to match that blue with the blue that I just did for the first subtitle you know all that so to make it you know easy you know think smarter not harder just go ahead and make a duplicate of it doesn't have to be three subtitles y'all as well it can be more than three it can be four or five however many you want but you know just to make that process simple and easy just 
just make a duplicate of the first subtitle so that way it already has the color the only thing you have to do is just type what you want in there and then just move it to wherever place you want it to be on your thumbnail Now for this last subtitle, y'all already know I had to do the curve effect. So what you want to do is just type on that and you want to move over and you want to click on curve. And then you want to click the plus sign and as you can see it's already curving. And then you just want to um, drop it to where it's like right above her head. And sometimes I might have to tilt it a little bit just so it can be even. And just adjust it to your liking and yeah. Once you have completed this last step, you can go ahead and click the share icon at the bottom right and you can save image and that is it. So this is the final look of the thumbnail y'all. It is really cute, really simple, super easy and I completed this on my iPad using those two apps which is the Superimpose X app and the Funto app. So yeah guys, thank y'all so much for watching this tutorial. I hope I explained everything well, good, and detailed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!